friend. Do you know what I am? A mummy! Correct! I'm a mummy! <laughs> and guess what you're learning about today? Me! That's right, you'll be learning all about mummies. From popular mummies to even how to make a mummy. I'm from ancient Egypt, by the way. Well, follow me! All around the universe! Welcome to All Around the Universe. I'm Penny. I'm Jim. And today we're going to be your host. Well, it looks like a body covered in toilet paper. We heard a lot about toilet paper. That's a body covered in linen. The definition is from Merriam-Webster. A mummy is a body embalmed or treated for burial with preservatives in the manner of ancient Egyptians. Or, in our English, a dead body that is well preserved or safe for an extremely large amount of years. Do you happen to know why they were made? As a matter of fact, I do! They were made because ancient Egyptians believed in afterlife or life after death. So they mummified the bodies of dead citizens and they stored them with goods. They believed that in the afterlife, they would be united with all of Egypt's gods. Oh, neat. Some of the really famous mummies were those of Seti I, King Tut, Ramesses II, Cleopatra, and Queen Hatshepsut. King Tut are the only mummies found untouched. That was in 1922 by Howard Carter. I heard that in his tomb, he had a lot of amazing treasures with him. Tomb? Yeah. Mummies are found in tombs, usually in pyramids for a safeguard. Tombs are like graves and tend to have treasures and items special to the mummy, like pets. Who was the first mummy? Tell me about it. Well, you just learned that King Tut was the first mummy found in touch. But, the first mummy ever unwrapped was found by Christian Herzog and Carol in 1698. Mummies were dug up and were made into medicine until the 1700s. They were also used to make wrapping paper and paint. How weird and gross is that? <laughs> Did my jaw just drop on the floor? The oldest mummy I found was nicknamed Ginger for his hair and dates back to 3300 BC. Humans are not the only kinds of mummies. Dogs, cats, ibises, baboons, crocodiles, fish, mongoose, shrews, dogs, jackals, birds, serpents, eels, and beetles are some examples of non-human mummies. And pets, money, jewelry, food, favorite possessions, and treasures are some of the items that have been found with mummies. Just how do you make a mummy? Could you tell me how? Well, Timmy can show you. She knows just how to do it. Yes, I can. Let's go. Alright, step one to making a mummy. Take a hook and push it through the nose. We want to get all the way up to the brain and push the hook back and forth. We take a cup or a bowl, we turn the mummy's body over, and we let all the brain guts fall out. Let's see. Now we need to remove all the organs except for the heart. Cut a gash through the body. 
Now we need to grab the insides out. The stomach, the liver, the intestines, and the lungs. Organs and two canonic jars so the sons of the god Horus can protect them. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And here's four. You have to take some neutron salt and cover it in the body and leave the body like that for 40 days. The body should become thinner and darker. Now makeup artists will come and put makeup and a wig onto the mummy. The body is covered with oil to perfume it. Placed on a brazier and melted, and then brushed on the body to seal and preserve it. Now we must take linen and wrap it around the body. After we have wrapped the body in linen, we store gems and other like items inside the layers of the linen. Now we take a mask and place it on the head. Bye! Universe for me like that ever again. Oh, no.